is going to be uh, my second video and it is also a what's in my bag video. I'm still here in Minnesota and um, I think I've mentioned in the last or the most one of the most recent video which I posted that um, for this particular trip I decided that I will be bringing um, two bags with me one is for the out and about or run errands go out shopping kind of bag grab and go bag and that is the Lueve puzzle and uh, the other bag that I or handbag which I decided to bring with me here is for work and that bag <clears throat> for the work bag that I decided to bring with me here is the Louis Vuitton um, or Louis Vuitton or LV <clears throat> Port Document uh, Voyage in the GM size in the Makassar line so um, the difference between this uh, Port Document Voyage with the uh, other Port Document Voyage by LV is that this one even though this is a GM size as you can see on the side there are no D-rings because typically uh, if your port document voyage is in the GM size uh, it um, it has two D-rings on the size where you can clip uh, shoulder straps but I got this for aesthetic purposes <laughs> But now that I have been lagging this around with me for work, going to and from the office, and even sometimes my workmates would tour me around the St. Paul, Minnesota area, and this is the bag that I'm carrying, I most often do not just leave it inside the car because it is heavy, especially with the things that... Uh, or, or the things which are inside the bag which I will be showing you the, what's inside the bag and that's the main purpose of this video it is heavy the only way for me to carry this is either top handle the crook of my arm or you can clutch it like a document bag which is kind of impractical especially when you are doing sightseeing or um, doing some shopping this has a zipper closure and what I really like uh, the most about this uh, Makassar or not the Makassar what I like the most about this port document voyage is that it has a silver hardware uh, when I was about to buy a a port document voyage I was torn between the port document zoo or port document voyage in the dummy a bean in this one <clears throat> at first I was eyeing the dummy a bean but I was with my partner uh, in the store and then he pointed out that he likes the slicker <clears throat> and more streamlined design of this bag and I think it's mainly because it can be associated to the silver hardware so it has a zipper opening and what I'm just going to do is pull stuff out then probably describe what it is so the very first thing picking out would be, and I think I have shown you this, this is an Hermes small key, uh, a small drawstring bag for the keys and pochette. I just got it uh, from my mom and this is this serves as my pill case. So all my meds or emergency, emergency pills are inside this pouch. Then I also have this pouch with me which carries some of my electronic um, essentials such as this uh, adapter and also the lightning cable which uh, is not in this pouch right now because as I'm filming my this what's in my bag video I have my phone uh, plugged into a power bank because it's the battery is running low and then I also have my <clears throat> company badge and this one is a Kate Spade silver flat pouch which I snatched or got from my mother <clears throat> I think a few days before my travel um, she was clearing out her closet and found this and she said that um, uh, she doesn't 
uh, or she didn't uh, think that she will have any use for this pouch mainly because it's flat so I said well if you're not gonna use it just give it to me and she gave it to me <clears throat> and what I have in here are just some receipts Then the next thing is, uh, you know what, this one, <clears throat> this is an EGG or egg um, pouch which I bought from the mall or in the mall a few days before my <clears throat> my travel here in Minnesota because I, um, I have a <clears throat> some sort of a cosmetic or a huge clutch or pouch which can carry my <clears throat> toiletries or some oddments. however it's kind of bulky and since there are other stuff which I know I will be carrying with me when I go to the office I decided to buy a a flat yet some sort of malleable pouch wherein I can stuff things around yet it's not too bulky <clears throat> so what's inside here are just some toiletries toothbrush toothpaste travel toothbrush toothpaste hand sanitizer a lip balm tissues dental floss band-aids and then I also have my passport in a passport holder and I think inside this passport it would be the hotel badge and then I have my wallet and you may have seen this in my other what's in my bag because this is the wallet that I decided to carry with me here because it's compact and this is the Louis Vuitton multiple wallet but this is the limited edition or the customized version because I decided to place three Shiba Inu in front of the wallet and I have some my some of my cards credit cards and cash then I also have my agenda so what I have in my agenda are just some of the my to-do list on a daily basis yep there's that and then I also have this uh, training materials for the workshop that I'm currently being certified and that's the main reason why I'm being sent here by our company so this is these are the training materials and this is quite heavy and thick for um, a training material and then I also have a pouch which carries my uh, the power cable for the laptop and of course yes some of you might be asking if uh, a certain size of laptop fits inside this bag and yes the answer is yes I think this is considered a so this is a Dell Latitude 5480 I think let me check Uh, Dell Latitude 5480 and this is considered a an in-between with uh, 13 and the 14 but more so the 14 inch uh, laptop it's quite compact that's why it fits perfectly inside the bag so there's that one then I have two pens one has a black ink and the other one has a blue ink then at the bottom of the bag, there is a coin. Then I have my earbuds or headsets. I also have, I carry around whenever I go my rosary because I am a devoted or Roman Catholic. <laughs> and what, oh, I might have forgotten to place this inside my Kate Spade flat pouch because these are more receipts for the items which I purchased because uh, uh, 
August. I just got back from work actually. So all the things that you're seeing here are not uh, being staged uh, for this what's in my bag. I just came back from work and decided to film this video and I dropped by some food stalls inside the Mall of America and here are some of the receipts that I had from those purchases. And then another marker or a pen which I use while I'm training and more coins I don't know why I have a lot of coins inside and that's it well the main compartment is empty and this is what it looks like hopefully it's showing the camera I don't have a way for me to tell if uh, it's showing um, quite perfectly, but it's in uh, a textile uh, or canvas lining and it's in um, burgundy color. So almost um, near the burgundy color for Chanel, like ox blood, but not too red and also not too brown. So that kind of burgundy. And there is a two slip pockets here so there are there's a lot of compartments and there are two uh, compartments for uh, your um, pens that's why and though the two pens which I showed you earlier these two are are nesting or resting on these two um, slots and then the rest are on the other compartments of course my laptop and that huge training material is in, in the main compartment and also there is another um, if you want security for some documents there is that um, zip compartment at the back um, just below where you can see the Louis Vuitton uh, Paris made in France uh, stamp or leather tab oh <laughs> and surprisingly I still got some more items inside and this one is just a I don't know it's a, just a paper that holds a certain notebook given to us in the office and then I also got this tag from a water bottle container I bought from the office cafeteria oops cash five bucks oh and then I have a key to the padlock because I keep the padlock padlock hanging on one of the zipper pulls so it's my indication that this is the what I'm carrying the bag this is the front if it makes sense <laughs> so yeah this is the lock or the key to the lock and lastly there is a picture of sun sunflower fields which was given to us when we visited the St. Paul Cathedral in St. Paul downtown so yeah so that is it as you can see hopefully the camera is capturing it there's a lot that you can fit inside the bag down uh, the um, the disadvantage is that I didn't uh, get the one with the shoulder strap that's why if I'm going to carry this around with me for shopping on a whole day or even half day my arms would really be sore or it will be hurt so but aesthetically i like it um the way um, i carry it i like it. and that's the reason why i opt to get the the one without the strap instead of the dummy it being which has the strap and for whatever reason when i was checking the bags at the store the dummy it being seems a little bulkier in terms of the depth it is more it has more give to it compared to the Makassar land and apart from the silver hardware I think that's one of the main reasons why my partner said that this one is slimmer it looks more polished or yep streamlined that is it for my what's in my bag and hopefully you will uh, watch out for the other videos that I will be posting in my channel so have a great day, you guys, and thank you for watching. Bye!